Okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, I've been thinking a lot about that car lately, Ray. Me too. You know I had more tail in that car than anybody else in this whole town. Well, sure. You didn't let anyone else drive it, but you. I had the pleasure of my life in that backseat. You used to let me smell the seats after you came home from a day. You used to say, that's the smell of a woman. I appreciate it. Oh, it was nothing. That car's gonna be a museum piece in time. I wish I could pass on to my children and their children somehow. Piece of that car. You get in each of these, Roy. Roy, there's something I gotta tell you. All right. It's bad. All right. It's terrible. Uh -huh. it's, it's like an open wound. When you were a good man. Yes. <laughs> Me and Elizabeth. You and Elizabeth what? Me and Elizabeth. Yes. Well. Me and Elizabeth. Ray, I heard that part. Stop playing with that tractor gasket. Ray? They made love. You and Elizabeth? Elizabeth and me. It's the same thing. Yes. Well, I was in Vietnam. Yes. Well, damn! Shit, damn! <laughs> what do you got to say for yourself, boy? I'm sorry. Is that all? I'm real sorry. Damn! <laughs> I can't believe it. Roy, shut up! My own little brother. Oh. <laughs> oh. I taught you your life. I taught you how to swim. I taught you how to drive. I taught you how to pass a football. Hell, I taught you how to jack off. The most important things in life I gave to you, and this is my reward. What can I say? Not a damn thing. My own goddamn little brother. My own goddamn wife. You know it's against the Ten Commandments, don't you? You just broke one of God's biggest laws, that's all. You have coveted your own brother's wife. What does coveted mean? It means fuck, you damn fool. You have fucked your brother's wife. And that's called... No. Sodomy. No. That's right, man. Sodomy. Boy, I'd hate to be in your shoes. It says right here in the Bible, Thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not fuck thy brother's wife, nor covet thou his ox, nor covet thou his sheep. I wouldn't fuck my brother's ox. No! I wouldn't fuck my own ox. That's <laughs> not what it means. You said covet meant fuck. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You get what I'm saying? You see what I mean? No. I'm talking about the Bible. I'm talking about the goddamn Garden of Eden. You are? Of course. In the Garden of Eden, God made Adam, and he made animals, and, and he saw that it was good, and he saw Adam was alone, and that that was perverted. Because well, <laughs> he was alone, he had nothing to occupy his mind, and he was walking around perverting the Garden of Eden. What was he doing? Oh, he was figuring out, right? He was alone, he was horny. Oh. Well, then what? Then God made even the bitch screwed the goose, and they all got kicked out on their ass. Get my point? No. He punished them. They broke some of his major laws just like you and he punished them. When did you and Elizabeth fornicate on me? <laughs> About two years ago. When two years ago? Winter. No, the air conditioning was on the first time. The first time? Was there more than once? <sighs> was there more than once? How many times, Ray? Did you do it a lot? No, not a lot. <laughs> Tell me the truth, boy, how many times? No, I'm not good at counting. <laughs> Where? In your bed. In my waiting bed? Is that all? What's on the floor? The floor? <laughs> What's in the bathroom? What? What's on the kitchen table? I'll never read off it again, you goddamn degenerate. I swear this is the most perverted thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> My whole house <laughs> defiled. Guess I'll have to go pitch a tent in the backyard. 
once in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what I ought to do to you, Ray. I don't know. I'll tell you what I think I ought to do. Spin up your two by fours upside your head. Don't do that, Roy. Why the hell not? It killed me. You ought to be dead. Don't say that to me, Roy. I'm your little brother. I ought to smash your skull in. What has made you so bloodthirsty, Roy? That's what it's supposed to do. I am a fool. What if you kill me? What? People I see, things I see. Nothing as it was. Because <laughs> me and Elizabeth, we had a good one, said. I never thought you would do me like. I, I know I'm a hard man to live with, but she's a wonderful woman. She's a wonderful woman. Oh my god damn all the hell! Don't hit me now, Roy. No. I wish you would. It'd make you feel better, I promise. No. I really wish you would, Roy. It'd make you feel better, I promise. No. Alright. Oh. Damn it. You said you weren't gonna hit me. I changed my mind. Do you feel any better? No. See, me and Elizabeth, we had really good words and we were real close. It's like she trusted me. And 